Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video We're starting a brand new YouTube series on my channel where we will be photoshopping your favorite youtubers So and in today's video, we'll be photoshopping four members of the FaZe Clan, which are my personal favorites So here we have FaZe Rain, FaZe Adapt, FaZe Tico, and my all-time favorite FaZe Blaziken Woo! <laughs> So actually what we will be doing, we'll be starting off with Phase Rain here, so I'm not sure exactly what to do to him except mess with his face, like distort physically, so there's only one tool for that. That tool is actually the liquify tool, a lot of you guys probably don't know what this tool is within Photoshop if you guys do have it. It's a thing where you can bulge photos, also not to mention shrink photos, and also drag and basically distort it, make it look really funny. If you do it perfectly, it ends up being a pretty damn funny picture, so let's see how well we can mess with Phase Rain's face. Something inside of me really wants me to mess with his eyes and actually spread them out So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I have to make it look good I don't want to make it look stupid make a fool out of myself So we're actually gonna bring out his eyes here So I have just finished his eyes it only took me like probably 30 seconds to be honest with you guys But this isn't going in a portfolio. It is not going to be perfect So don't expect them to be perfect And there's only one other thing I'd like to mess with and that is his mouth as you can see his mouth looks kind of funny So I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger I don't want to make it super big like this as you can see it kind of just looks horrible at this point i'm just gonna bring it back to normal it's gonna make it a little bit bigger than average there we go perfect so there we are we have his physical defects in place here there's only a couple more things i'd like to do to his face as you can see his eyebrows don't look too bad but we can always make them look a lot worse so face rain's eyebrows aren't so bad but i'd like to make this one not as an eyebrows i just want to make it eyebrow because we're gonna give face rain a unibrow here make it look good i don't want it to look super crisp in the resolution here so we have to make it a little bit bigger because not every eyebrow is like sharp as a uh, sharp as a piece of paper. What's, some, what's something sharp? A katana? I don't even know. I gotta make it look good though. So I had to make it a little less resolution. So I bring up the size real fast, buff out these, and it looks just as good as normal. So as you can see, Phase Rain now has a unibrow. Easy as that. It looks so good. You just saw how fast that took. I'm so proud of that. And if I don't, I'm not a fan of Phase Rain's hair to be honest. I don't know why he bleached the top of his hair. I, I, I just think it's really ugly. Oh man, I'm gonna get hey i'm definitely gonna get hate for that so i'm actually gonna change the color of his hair here and make it red throw back to 2050 i'm not sure why he dyed it red i think it was for face plan itself so let's take a little throwback and make it red again so to make this actually happen you have to go to human saturation bring up the saturation a little bit more i could simply leave it at that but we have to get the red color there there it was here is the red color we want right there boys we're gonna make a group here, then throw this in the group, and not to mention the hair under it. So as you can see, the whole red saturation thing is affecting the whole picture. So what we're gonna do is actually just throw into a group, like I said, merge this group with the picture of the hair in there, and then boom, you got yourself red hair. It's so ugly, dude. It is so ugly. So we're not going to leave Phase Rain so untouched here. What we're actually going to do is I'm going to get a little clip of his mustache here and make it do a whole 360 degrees around his mouth. It's going to look so bad, but isn't that the purpose here? Okay, I give up on the idea. That is going to be a little too difficult for such a short amount of time to give that idea up. So there we are, guys. Oh, God. So there we are, guys. Phase Rain is officially done with the photoshopping. Let's move on to the next Phase Clan member. <laughs> So here we are with phase adapt. I already know what I want to do with this. So if you ever see somebody's eyebrows raised up in the middle like that, as you can see with the creases on his forehead right there, you can tell this guy is raising his eyebrows. So there's something you can really do something funny with this. You can make them even more raised. So going back to the liquify tool here, you can simply just bring this brush size down a little bit. Just throw this up. That's all you have to do. And now he just looks like he's like, what's up, bro? So simply by doing that, you can just make him look like a more honest and genuine guy. So that's not the only thing we're going to do to him. Let me just get 100% zoom on this. I also would like to make one of his eyes a little bit different from the eye that I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So hopefully it doesn't really look too bad here. So as you can see, it just looks too bold. It loses so much resolution. It's so noticeable. There's one thing we can simply just make this a very funny. We're going to drag his eye down, actually. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad. Oh, God. Oh, this looks so weird. And uh, we're done with the eye. There's no <laughs> so time. We're done with the die. We're, we're done with the eye right there. We're gonna move on to the mouth here. We can do so much with this liquify tool, dude. We're gonna take his mouth and we're gonna make him a little more of a genuinely nice guy. As you can see, the eyebrows is enough, but we're gonna make it a little bit more with a little smile. There we go. Phase adapt has really taken a turn for its best, dude. You looking? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. 
Dude, look at the difference. Oh my, that's that's perfect. That is perfect. I oh yeah, I'm so proud of this. We're gonna leave it that. We're not gonna do any more. I think it's perfect how it is. So phase adapt. You are officially photoshopped. So here we have Tico. For some strange reason, we lucked out with this one because he didn't really use white balance on his video. No offense to you, Tico, if you end up ever watching this video. So, Tico, you are about to get photoshopped in probably the worst way possible. We're actually going to erase every piece of your face as possible. So, he didn't use white balance on this part of the video, I'm assuming, where I got this. It was just off Google. Uh, I got pretty lucky with this one because I can take off any piece of his face, put it on top of each other, and just blend it right in easily because that is because there's no white balance. So, all the skin tone is basically yellow in this picture. So, I can just throw that on top and then throw this around it and just buff out the sharp edges. As you can see, it's barely noticeable at first glance yes you'll notice it if you look at it for a while but who's gonna look at this for such a long time to the point where they can notice it so boom it's easy as that guys now face Tico is missing something and I think it might be his mouth <laughs> or maybe it could be his eyes or something so face Tico's mouth wasn't enough actually what's up next we're actually gonna cover up his eyes and later on his nose but right now we're gonna worry about his eyes and hopefully we can get this looking good in no time and uh, there you go guys that is how you basically cover up somebody's face in Photoshop boom there it is now you can't even tell where phase Tico's face is that's cuz it is not there so I just threw all of his pictures now it's just one simple image here so I can drag it around do whatever I like with it so one more thing I'd like to do to his face and that's obviously give him a face so face Tico's face is officially covered up with his own skin it looks doesn't look too bad obviously you can make it a little bit better but for the video's sake i'm not going to spend a day on his face here so we're just going to draw him a little face make him look good again and uh, there you go face tico you are officially photoshopped So next up we have Blazik and there's two faces in this picture and you guys already know what you gotta do when you got two faces in one picture and that is to face swap them. So we're gonna face swap, phase adapt, and phase Blaziken. So hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad as you can see. Phase Blaziken's a little more whiter than adapt so hopefully that doesn't mess with it too much so hopefully it turns out quite well. So if you guys are curious how to do this what we're gonna do is actually select a piece of Blaziken's face. Later on, just selecting a piece of Adapt's face. It's not to be perfect. You're going to erase half of it later. Uh, there we go. There's That's good enough as well. So, cut, cut out the back. So, what we have left is Adapt's face over here. We're going to erase out. So, we're erasing all the extra stuff we don't need of each other's faces here. So, we're going to erase everything off of Blaziken's face. Then, later on, erase everything off of Adapt's face. So, it's just leaving them with their faces. Don't worry. I have the raw picture in the back here. So, we can just slap them on top of each other. So, let's get this going. Okay guys, I have both of their faces nice and cleaned up, ready to go, so all we have to do left is actually throw Adapt's face over here, and then Blaziken's face over here. So one's actually going to be a little less resolution, which means it's going to be a little more pixelated when we bump up the size, but hopefully it's not too noticeable at first glance. Like I said, I don't think people are going to be looking at these for such a long time and trying to critique my Photoshop skills to the fullest extent, so hopefully... Why why did my phone turn off in the first place? Like, I've given no consent towards that, but okay. Well, uh, guys, I don't know what I just did to face Blaziken's face, but hopefully he doesn't mind face it to F's mouth. Strangely, like, I don't, like, awkwardly, uncomfortably large across his face, but I don't see him minding. Well, holy crap, that was, that just turned out horribly, holy, I'm, like, not proud of this whatsoever. Okay, guys, I'll be 100% honest with you guys, I'm not too proud about this one, but I gotta tell you guys, Blaziken, you've been photoshopped. Okay, everybody, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Photoshopping YouTubers. If you guys did enjoy, please drop down a like and comment what YouTubers I should Photoshop next time. So, thanks for everybody who's made it this far in the video. If you guys did, and possibly might be able to get one of the face members to react to this video. So, guys, my name's Alex. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.